Hey guys, Baseball Rocks 47 here. Um, <clears throat> well, as you may know, I did a review on uh, Armando Galarraga's almost perfect game. Um, so after Jim Joyce blew the call, it went to the commissioner's office where Bud Selig is in charge, and um, they talked to Bud Selig, and Selig said he will not reverse the call. Um, now I think that's a little odd in a way because. Uh, I mean, it wouldn't have made a difference, honestly. All that would have happened is that guy who got on first base, his average uh, would have gone up a few points. Barely. He should have been out. His average shouldn't have gone up two points. Um, yeah, so, um, it's not like, um, I got this off of the talk radio show, WFAN, 660 AM on, uh, the radio. Um... Uh, this guy, Richard Neer, saying that it's not like in the 1996 World or I forget which World Series, uh, uh, Jeffrey Mayer caught Jeter's home run and um, took it to, and took it away because it would have been an out if he didn't catch it, and they ruled it a home run. It's not like that where if you go and reverse the call, it changes the whole thing. This, the guy just would have been out, and Colorado would have had a perfect game. In my mind, Galarraga pitched a perfect game. Um, I don't know about in your mind, your guys' mind, but I know for me, he definitely pitched a perfect game. And, uh, um, yeah, 27 up, 27 down for him. Uh, another thing, Jim Joyce thought he was safe. I guess I don't see how he thought he had a perfect angle on it, but, um, after the game, he went to the club, the umpire clubhouse, and uh, looked at the um, he looked at the uh, review, and he noticed he was out by how many steps, and he felt bad. And he was getting interviewed after the game, and he's like, um, or one guy asked him, "Do you feel bad that you blew the call?" And he said, "I didn't blow blow a call. I blew a history call. This kid almost blew, blew a perfect game, and I ruined it for him." Uh, he said some uh, profane language in there, or some, not profane, foul language in there. Um, but I don't really want to say that. Uh, yeah, and he said he screwed up the call, he felt really bad, and then he went up to Galarraga and apologized to him, shook his hand, and the next day he acknowledged him in the crowd, and uh, the next game he acknowledged him and the rest of the crowd, crowds um, for... Um, making that blown call. And I guess, like, I can forgive him in a way. Again, I got this from the talk radio show, too. Uh, I mean, um, if he didn't, uh, if he kept being, like, ignorant and saying, yeah, I, he was safe. He was definitely safe. I, I don't care what the replay does. Then, yeah, he's still gonna be that guy that everyone knows who, um, who, uh, won't, um, sorry, uh, he's still gonna be that guy who everyone knows now is the guy who wouldn't let Galarraga have a perfect game, and, uh, he's been in the umpiring for 21, 22 years, and everyone makes mistakes, in this case, it just came at a bad time, and in the game yesterday, um, Joyce wasn't umping first base, but there was another blown call at first base, it's just sort of weird, yeah, but, um, Selig won't reverse the call. Um, I bet if Joyce, uh, uh, appealed, reappealed the call, he definitely would have, um, taken back what he said and called him out. But, uh, everything happens. Uh, leave your comments in the comment section to see what, um, uh, to see, say what you think should happen. Should Selig have a reappealed the call or should he have kept it? In this case, my opinion, nothing would have changed, and um, he should be deserved at the perfect game. So, yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and subscribe if you can.